start like hi guys you can just say whatever you want i call mm. people guys you can call people girls you can call people family why have you moved my red pants because i didn't want them in my video <laughs> Fucking red flares <laughs> Hi, welcome back to another vlog. This time we are going to do an onboard of the Isle of Man TT. This is actually the, the lap or bits of the lap that I um, won the TT in 2019. So yeah, you're actually on board with a, a TT winning lap. First of all, we're gonna start off with um, basically going up onto the start grid or well, actually being on the start grid. The, the, the cameraman doesn't turn the cameras on until we're up there and stuff. So you don't really see what what happens but pretty much at the TT you'll go from being in your own awning or tent beside the truck um, to going up then into the Holton Bay you go through Scrutineer and obviously into the Holton Bay and then the dreaded buzzer goes off to say like 45 minutes half an hour 15 minutes and then they bring you up onto the onto the road to the start so when you see the tv cameras and stuff on the road that's um that's what you're seeing and that's what's happened before then so this is just where that that footage is going to start from so you're going to see the front shot of the clocks and stuff and you see my mechanics and stuff looking looking forward so i'm just going to press play i'm literally looking at this now on the laptop so gonna... right so the, like i said yeah the footage is starting um just on the Road. So, in the in the footage, the first thing you probably notice that Peter Hickman is right in front of me. That's because my number changed last year at the TT from normal 13 to number 11. Um, and obviously, Peter always starts off number 10, so you'll see him and his team just just literally stood in front of me. <coughs> Excuse me. The next big blue object you can see is Neil. That's uh, one of my mechanics. And then you'll, you'll hear him and Graham having a bit of conversation and stuff and the buzzer just goes off. So that's the one minute buzzer, that's the last buzzer you hear. So basically the guys right at the front of the race now will be getting their tyre warmers off. So whoever's off at number one, I can't remember if I remember McGuinness or something, but um, they will already be getting their tyre warmers off. And obviously we don't want to be doing that just yet because by the time we get set off then with the, with the 10 second intervals, we get set off it's an extra minute or two so we don't want to get the tires cold so you'll hear graham just said to, to neil not yet neil and then and then the tire tire warmers off <coughs> the other thing you'll notice here and i on the camera that the mechanic normally wheels the bike up to the there's just like a sort of a little split section where you actually line up them before the start of the race so you can see in front there and um, Pete's mechanics just <laughs> struggling to get his bike to start, but um, yeah. So Graham now that that normally is always the last person to leave me is just uh, wheeling my bike up, and I'm just on the right hand side walking along. <coughs> there you can see Dad's just patting patting Pete on the back. That's his crew chief. So um, yeah, this is pretty much where where we leave the mechanics behind and stuff. You can see me getting on the bike there now in the reflection of the in the reflection of the dash. Um, yeah, and this is this is all down to us now. You'll you'll see the board here just on your left hand side is um, that's just a little bit of description of you know maybe if there's a damp patch or a any little bit of detail that the organisers think that we might want we might want as riders. So um, yeah, this is us literally just lining up now to to set off. You can see all the VIP guests and stuff just on the left hand side and all the mechanics and stuff that've been allowed into that that sort of VIP or small in enclosure. The only people here now around us are the two, the two last holding men, and obviously the TV cameras and stuff. Um, as we set, to, uh, get ready to set off. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous even watching this, to be honest. It's an exciting feeling, but yeah, you'll see the guy just tap, tap Pete on the shoulder. There's a guy here with a flag, but if you look, if you look over on the right hand side, you'll see the flag go up. But then there's actually a light on the tower as well that goes off at the same time. So. That's me just setting off now. So yeah, that's that's the start of a lap. Um, I had debated on whether to talk around the lap, but there's so many laps on, on the internet now of people talking around it. To be honest, nobody does it as good as Milky Quail, one of the 
one of the race organisers and an XTT winner so um, I don't think I'll be doing it justice by rambling on on the lap but yeah I'm going to let you let you watch this and have a look and see see what you think so far I will freeze it at one or two points where um, it gets to my pit board just to give you an idea of how many pit boards there is and, and what information's on them and stuff but yeah hope you enjoy the video
So that was a lap, well, I say a lap, the first part of the lap of the TT with me. Um, next week we're going to chuck out the second half, obviously with more details and stuff of the finished part of the lap, and most importantly, all the emotions of getting back into Park Fermi, crossing the line, obviously you can see all the fans and the emotions in my family and uh, all the press and stuff, so... Um, yeah, we're going to try and cover a bit of that in, in next week's in next episode, sorry. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the like button, and see you guys later.